Champ knows the game. Dude, I low key, I I wish Champ would get on the mic. I don't know if he's gonna do it. He probably won't. Yeah, like that that would be really cool. Just just to hear Champ's thoughts on the game and like what happened. But yet again, no. So Nico versus Jump Steady. You know, this is gonna be Palutena versus versus uh Shulk. And looks like we have strides back on. Yes, looks like we do have strides coming on the mic. Oh, how's it going, strides? Hey, I didn't expect to be here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, packing up everything. But um, right. so who's this guy? Dark Paladin 420. Wow, I've never seen this guy before. Yeah, totally new face. Just been <laughs> blowing everybody out of the water. <laughs> Made it all the way to uh, losers finals. You know. Dark Paladin 420 um, actually lost really early in a uh, winner's side of pools. So he's like been going through these records pretty much the entire tournament. Just because he decided to play Falcon against the uh, YMCA's DK. Oh Didn't work out. Yeah. It's kind of funny how it works out. He's like, okay, now that I lost, I'm going to go my actual main. You know what? No, I, no what it was it was just going to lose bracket to grind out all those matches. Yeah, that, that's, get all those PR right. wins uh, at the bottom when everybody's down there, and be like, hey, that, that's just more matches for me to win. Yeah, that that's. So it, the person I think that has the highest chance of being Nico Schultz in this tournament is actually Jump, just because he's beaten them before, I mean, and he's uh he's probably with him the most because they're both like in the same area. So uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised to jump on this, but it's I mean, hard. Yeah, I mean, looks like Nico kind of learning from his practice session. They don't want practice is fine and all, but this is tournament. This yeah. is where the money is and where the money really counts. So yet again, will Nico really pull out all the stops here against his uh, training partner here? Yeah, it's uh, it'll be interesting to see for sure. Like, it it kind of goes both ways. Like Jump has a high chance of being Nico when he plays them a lot, but the same thing can be said for uh, Nico. Too. Oh my god. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. Just super deep fair. Knowing that, like, you know what, I can get this. If it hits him, he dies. If it doesn't, then, like, I'll still make it back. But yeah. yet again, super greedy up smash right there. And Nico's just going to pull on the shield and just punish him for it. I wonder if Nico had enough time to go for vision since he was charging that long. It probably wouldn't have killed at all, like, at low percentage, but it's a decent amount of damage. I mean, it was oh. still damage either way. It's not a bad punish. But yet again, you don't want to go for the counter and then eat like a fully charged like, yeah, smash attack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because you can charge smash attack for long. But uh, finally getting this knock off, it's looking really rough. Like once Nico gets to advantage, he just does so much percent. He's just really good at reading people's defensive options. Like first he gets like the guarantee hit for the choke, then he just kind of waits and see what he do after, and then he just goes from there. I definitely think Nico's like greatest strength is going for those edge guards. You know, you see him going like so deep, knowing that like, hey. I know you're going to want to be in this zone here. Let me throw out a fair. If it clips you, great, you're dead. If it doesn't, then, like, no worries. I can just get you back on the ledge and just reset you neutral and get the ledge guard option and then throw you back off stage and we play the guessing game one more time. Yeah, it's really hard to go from, like, the lower corner to recover to the ledge against this character. And Nico just abused it really well. Probably could have gone out fair from there, too. It's so fast. Like, he jumps yeah. literally, he can't necessarily just, like, react, so he's just waiting while he's in speed art for him to do anything. Oh, he oh, wanted nice. that grab right there, and that would have been death. But yet again, nice smash art, but yet again, that will be the stock. And you know, jumps at a 157%. This is kill percent for him, but you know what? Can he uh, clean out the stock in time, or will Nico just find that one straight hit he needs to finish off game one? Yeah, this comeback is going to be kind of rough. Like, Nico, Nico has to lose this for so many more times for uh, him to lose this instead of Jumper. But I he's mean, doing a good job bringing it back right now. I mean, he's he again. Up the ledge, at least. Yeah. He hasn't gotten hit in a while. No, nice. Nico is just throwing out all these moves. You know, I feel like it's starting to almost be a reverse situation where we had where Jump City was kind of throwing out the nice. moves and Nico punishing him for it. And then just like that, nice. it's nice. even nice. up yep. already. Jump City, the one neutral all the times that I said. So now he actually has a chance of winning this. Reverse three stock would be really good. Free time? Yeah. Nico got Omega Greedy. And Jump State was like, cool, man. Give me three punishes. Take that. Thanks, man. I mean, he went for a B like four times right yeah. there. There were, there were raw Bs, too. They weren't like out of shield punishes. They were just like, I, it's, if this hits, like, I win the game. So getting really impatient, going at three stock lead pretty much. And
and uh, Jump State coming all the way back. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely take that. You got the names missed up, by the yeah. way. It's uh, Jump State on the, the left. Three, right here. Two, yeah. yeah. One, it's fine, though. Go. We'll, we'll break it, yeah. We'll <laughs> fix it. Make anyway. it until you make it. So, Jump State, amazing comeback, game one. See if we can uh, do it again. Rather, not even have to rely on the comeback, just uh, play really solid like he did that last time the entire uh, of these three stocks here. Right. Yet again, no, I love what he's doing with all the spacing of the aerials, and you know, Jump City is just really having a hard time getting in. And I feel like that's the upbeat that he wanted, like all that first game, but just wasn't waiting for Jump City to throw out a laggy enough move to actually yeah. utilize it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do know that uh, Nico actually has struggled in this matchup a lot in the past. Uh, not necessarily against Jump Steady, but like against Nairo, he had a really rough time. The, the buzzers like Pocket Pot he had a little bit of an issue as well. So this character just tends to do really well against the way Nico likes to play in the first place. I mean, definitely a lot of Palutena things are just like out neutraling you, out spacing you, and you know, just kind of punishing you for that. And Nico really likes to go super aggressive with all of his aerials. So if you're going to get out spaced out and neutral, you know, it's going to be really hard for you to kind of like jump in the air and find that aerial that you really want to do yeah. with the space properly. Because if you don't space it properly, you're going to get punished super hard. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Jump there you go. You're good spot on the stage. Try to wait Nico out, see if you can get these grabs, throw them off the stage, you know, set the edge guard. Nico, I think he recognized that as well, though, so he's not making it easy to get punished. Oh, nice. He lands up and grabs him. Okay, we're right into shield immediately into shield as soon as he gets thrown off the stage. I mean, so yeah, like, you know, Palutena, they either love to go for the, the raw bear or the up bear, depending on which one you the eye, and it's easy for them to just check, like, okay, do you go in, like, up high or up far, and then, like, just pick whatever option they go with. So oh, kind of going into this mount or shield art just to avoid all that situation right there. Yeah, this one was a oh nice. So again, they go getting punished for using that hasty uh, up the air slash. Yeah, Justin really punching that super well. I just think we go can't really rely on that in neutral as much as Eugene does. I mean, definitely a lot of Palutena aerials, like, they are pretty safe on shield, so... Yet again, like, normally that'd be a really great punish out of shield, but against Palutena, maybe not so much. Oh, not gonna die with that. was a really good time to switch to Smash right there, kept the quarter. I love what he did. He switched to jump immediately, knowing that, like, okay, I can get the edge guard with jump and, like, go super deep, and, you know, that takes me out of Smash in case, like, I miss and, like, I don't get the hit and I don't die at, like, 10. Yeah. That's another thing you gotta be careful of when you're switching to these arts. They all have a disadvantage as well. You gotta be cognizant of that, but nice to turn up back there. Oh, I appreciate it a lot more in this game because you can DI like uh, into the stage and make it hard for them to just get a free back there in comparison to like Smash Sports. But uh, from a lot of times people don't expect it, so they don't DI. I mean, there's the, there's mainly like three DIs. There's like DI away, DI up, and DI down. Yeah. You know, and like depending on which aerial like they do, like. It, you might want the eye up to avoid like the low aerial or the eye down to avoid the high aerial. And it just depends on what option your opponent's trumping going to do. And it makes trumping a little bit more fair. It's not like you just get trumped and you die. You yeah, know? yeah. So, uh, just in. See if he can build the lead even more. He's working really up. Oh, no, no, no. As <laughs> I say. Well, at least he got 50%. That's not too bad. Oh, yeah, definitely a, a nice little extra credit lead, but. Yet again, does a lead matter against Nico? Because, you know, he's just super good at edge guarding. All he needs is that one little out that you give him, and then he can take it for a mile. Yeah, Jump City can not be too complacent that he has a lead. Even though he's playing incredibly well, I can, you never want to sleep on Nico. He's like one of the people that's known for making comebacks happen in his character. I mean, you saw what happened to Nico earlier there when he, like, kind of, like, fell into the group of, like, oh, I have a lead. I can throw out, like, stocks, you know, or I can yeah. throw out hits that are yeah, really yeah. true. So, yet again, oh. that kind of works both ways here. Yeah, Jump City doesn't fall into the same kind of bad habit that he goes through earlier, but oh, he aired out directly into the explosive flame. Yo, jump up to, oh, looking really good right here. Palutena working out super well. I like it. Oh my god, yeah, that Palutena is just putting in so much work, and I know Jump City wants the run back against Luna. Oh you know, yeah, for sure. It would be a really big statement if Luna would uh, win this tournament, especially from winners after beating Razo and Jump Steady. Yeah. In, uh, I mean, that would be the second time he gets a double PR victory in Grand Finals, yeah, basically. Yeah. 
We'll see though. If, if, I, if I'm Luna, definitely I would rather play uh, <laughs> Jump Steady than Nico. Like, Nico is so good against Cloud. I think Shulk in general is really good against Cloud. But, uh, we'll I see. mean, I'd rather play against the player I beat earlier in the yeah. bracket too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we'll see. Jump Steady still has to win one more before he can uh, worry about that. But he's working on it really well. Oh, he's doing much better at the start than he has so far in the set. Really pushing Nico to the brink. Nico definitely gonna have to play a lot more carefully if he wants to bring this to not even a game like three, like a game five at this point. Yeah, just to get on the board, he's really having to play as hard as he can. Nice timing of the gear beside does have a little bit of instability so he can get past that up smash. But if he did neutral get up, he was super dead there. Okay. Well, you know he wanted to end it all right there, but not gonna be able to find his mark. And yet again, jump say he's gonna be like, okay, you didn't find it, let me just go for this nair and just kind of out neutral you at this point. What are you going to do? You can't really punish it out of shield. Yeah, that seems to be Shulk's thing in this matchup. Just not having the proper frame data to just contest with Kalatin's aerial. Since hers kind of come out a little bit, well, not even a little bit faster, a lot faster than Shulk's do. Is he going to drop him in here? No, but he definitely can't go for that. Since Shulk kind of has to go in that low recovery. He just drops on there with Kalatin. He can't hit it too easily. And again, dash attack on shield, but not going to be able to punish it because it wasn't facing the right direction. And that can kind of be said, like, Paladin doesn't really have any good out of shield options either, so... Well, at least her grab's amazing. Like, that's... Yeah, she has really good grab range compared to the most characters in this game, but guys, there's, but there's the whiff punish on that aerial. Amigo unsafe, landing, gets immediately dash attack. Really good stuff for Jump. He's like, like, this is like the best I've seen him play against people, honestly. You can really see how he's able to defeat him before. I mean, honestly, I love how patient he's playing. He's being like, okay, I see you want to throw out a move. You're in Smash. I don't want to throw out anything that's going to get intercepted midway. So let me just kind of time you out of the Smash art, and then, like, we can play a different game. Yeah, everyone should do that if they can. Because, like, why fight show when you have to kill you, you know? Because making his, uh, his slight buff not as scary. He's just trying to run away from it, you know? I mean, that's the same, like, argument, like, for fighting Joker, you know, the, don't try to fight Arsene unless like you really want to get rid of Arsene. Cause, yeah. like, you have to be very confident in winning neutral in that scenario because you do get to deplete the meter from hitting him, but if you mess up, you get punished. You know, like, same concept here with Shulk. Nigo finally getting the stock though. Took 81% for a for the net. Jump's been parrying very consistently. It's not actually that difficult to parry short scales because he kind of always attacks in certain rhythm and they have startup on these aerials too so he gets the down tilt to fair and not going to be enough but it again oh nice timing with the mid he had no uh, way to sweep out the ledge there he got right under him just, uh, got the aerial out really good timing for Jim Sage just showing that he really knows how to fight this character oh yeah, yeah that's what happens when you practice with Nico <laughs> and uh, running to him like almost every week you know right yeah, he gets the grab off of the roll, and, you know, Nico's really bleeding here. You know, he's been lapped in percent. He really needs to make a comeback if he wants to just get one on the board at this point. Yeah, but just say he's just shutting them out, like, almost every time. Here. There we go. Not going to be able to find it. And yet again, jump say just kind of, like, sitting back in neutral, waiting for Nico to kind of, like, Ooh. press a button and then punishing him for it. Yep. Very good stuff from just Nice, gets the unsafe recovery, gonna get another one, nice punish, but we still live from the other side of the screen. Here's another one, jump up upbeats have been very bad though. He's, yeah, at that time he died, you know, like, I he mean, missed he, the ledge like almost four times. Yeah, and he drifted like super far back to avoid the, the fair control. Yet again, like, yeah, you can avoid the fair, but like you drift too far back. Like, Palutena's distance on her recovery, not the best in the world. So, yet again. 142, Shulk yeah, can this make one, this back, but like... This one's gonna be so difficult. Yeah. Okay, then he gives left trump. Oh, brilliant power shield on the buster. It does more shield stun too, because that... But uh, the parry just kind of makes that though. Here we go, shield. No, as long as he can beat out the shield, no, I feel like he can just take the game at this point. But oh, not if he gets this oh, edge guard. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nico is going for the win condition for sure. Yeah, switching this smash, I go for the deep mortar off stage. It kills really early, but the dash attack 
from deep. Another really solid. Oh, 